Yeah, honestly, uh, <clears throat> super lucky to be able to come down here to uh, Caleb's ranch in Florida. Uh, this is honestly, I think I started coming down in 18, so fourth year down here. And uh, it's huge, especially for me being from Connecticut. So the winters are so harsh and, you know, weather's so cold and snow, you can't ride. So uh, yeah, able to come down here and, and train. And it's cool to, to ride with top guys like him when he was, when he was coming up. And uh, yeah, you know, just learn from them. And uh, like you said, we probably have 15 or so guys down here. 10 of them are pro riders, so the tracks get so rough. And it's just what you need in the off season, you know, just, just kind of beat yourself back up into shape. And uh, the deep sand wolves will do that for you. And uh, yeah, so basically ride sand for like three months leading into the year and it just gets you into shape. And uh, yeah, we got just one sand round really, Florida. But uh, yeah, a lot of preparation for that. And it's a war, honestly, battle of attrition. It's, it's so gnarly out there and, and hot. So after all the training, it gets you prepared, but still super tough, you know? It's, uh, it's not like it's any easier, you just go faster. Yeah, so uh, this is my first year riding the 350. Uh, I rode 250s and XC2 in 18 and 19, and then last year was my first year moving up to the big, the big bikes, and uh, I went with a 450. Uh, I rode it at six days and kind of spent some time on it, so I just felt comfortable, and, and I really like the bike. Like, it's awesome. Uh, I did really good on it, won races on it, and uh, was comfortable on it. And But uh, yeah, I kind of just tr wanted to try the 350. I, I rode the 250 really well. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a give or take. You know, the 450 is better in certain areas and the 350 is a little better in others. But uh, yeah, just the tighter woods. And uh, I think I can ride a little more aggressively and, and maybe save some energy. So have a little more in the tank late in the race. But uh, all the bikes are good. so. It's honestly hard to make the decision. It was hard for me, but after the first round this past weekend, I was stoked. Uh, the bike's super fast, handles good, and yeah, I'm comfortable on it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a long season. We got 13 races spread throughout the year, and like I said, uh, definitely want to uh, try to peak at the right times, but it's, it's hard, you know? You can't be at your peak fitness all year long. You'll just burn out, like you said, so. Uh, you know, we kind of do a boot camp here in the winter and, and get back into form and, and peak for the first few races. And <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a lot of training in the winter. And then once the series come around, uh, three hour race is so gnarly that, you know, three to four days after the race, my body is so beat down. I can barely walk. I'm like an 80 year old man. But, uh, you know, if you do good on the weekend, it makes it worth it. So, uh, yeah, just, just try to push through it and kind of get up to speed and up to fitness uh, at the beginning of the year and then kind of just maintain throughout. Uh, you get a little summer break, but honestly, we, we race second series National Enduros and so we stay busy all year round. Uh, so it's kind of hard. You just kind of maintain throughout the year, uh, get little gains here and there and just, uh, you know, each three hour race you do, like it builds your fitness, makes you tougher. So you get stronger throughout the year just, just by racing. Uh, so yeah, just kind of riding, maintaining, having fun, you know, uh, riding mountain bikes, just just doing it all to, to stay fit. And uh, yeah, basically, basically that's it. And uh, yeah, I'm lucky to uh, <clears throat> work with some good people. Uh, my trainer, Charlie Mullins, who taught me a lot. And yeah, I just kind of learned from, learned from the best and just kind of try to uh, pick and choose all the good things from the top guys and put that all into one and just use that for my program. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I got some high expectations and goals this year. Uh, Caleb retired now, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, they're looking for the next guy to, to win the championship. Uh, so, really just want to try to win races. I've done it in the past, you know, had a real good XC2 career and then moved up last year and unfortunately got hurt. So I was out for half the season, but when I came back, I was consistently a podium guy and, uh, you know, I've won overalls before, so I just got to put it all together and, I think I can definitely do it. You know, I'm confident and uh, feel like I have the speed and fitness. Uh, you know, we're going into Florida here and I'm really excited. I, I just really want to win that race, just focus race to race, try to get wins and be on the podium every weekend. You know, if I'm not on the podium, I'll definitely be upset with myself. And uh, yeah, the first round didn't go too well. I ended up fifth, but uh, rode really good, just had a whole lot of problems and uh, things, you know, in and out of my control happened. So, uh, yeah, just clean up some things and I'll, I'll definitely be up front. So, uh, yeah, the goals is to win races, be consistent, and hopefully be in it for the championship battle at the end of the year. Uh, I like to think I'm a good all-around rider. 
but uh, I come from New England where it's rocky, rooty, the dirt's soft and loamy. So uh, the tracks up there just get super rough and uh, I think that's kind of where I shine. The rougher, the better. Uh, you know, you got stuff like that that'll slow down, uh, slow down the track and you kind of really just got to focus on riding the bike like correctly instead of just pinning it, holding it wide open. So the rougher the track, the better for me. And uh, like you said, East Coast versus West Coast, uh, it's just different. You know, uh, we race through the trees a lot more out here. So it, the courses are slower and uh, it just, the dirt is softer. So it just tills up more and, and gets, gets rougher. It's just, just different. You know, out, out West is probably a lot more high, high speed, like average than here. It's just, uh, it's different. You know, those guys are gnarly in their own right. Like we can't just go over there easily and do good. They can't just come over here and do the same. It's hard to be good at everything. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to, to live on the East Coast and grow up over here and, and race the GNCC racing series. So uh, yeah, just I say the rougher the better for me. <laughs>